Hello, this is Dylan Andrews with EarTrainingForGuitar.com and in this video I want to show you what you can do to train your ear to be able to identify modes. Now to be clear, this is not a video about how modes work or what they are. This is a video about how to train your ear to be able to identify modes. All right, so. There are plenty of videos on how modes work and what they are. I'm sure you can find tons and tons, but I want to focus on how to actually train your ear to identify that. And there are two main places where modes happen in music. The first one is a song can actually be in the key of a mode. So you could have a song in the key of A Mixolydian or G Lydian or whatever, where it's using all of the chords of that mode and it's resolving to that. Now, that's not as common though. It does happen, but it's not nearly as common. What's the most common is that you need to realize is that every single time a chord changes, you are now in that mode, as long as the chord lasts for a little while. So what I mean by this is, let's say that we're in the key of C. C major. All right, now this would be the first mode. This is C Ionian which is just your normal major key. Now, let's say that I go to a G chord. I haven't changed keys. This is just going to the G chord, but for the time that this chord is ringing out, everything is gonna revolve around the G. Your ear is gonna pick up on the G as the one. If I play the C, it wants to go to the G. All right, so again, we're still in the key of C here. But when you play another chord, that temporarily becomes the one. So now we have a one, two, three, four, five, six, plus seven, one. And then back to C. So every single time a chord changes, the mode changes. For instance, if I go to an A minor, now everything's gonna revolve around the A minor, which another name for this is A Aeolian, but it's just your normal minor key. If I go to an F, now my ear is going to perceive all of the notes of the key of C as F Lydian. But that C is still the big overall um, resolution because that is the key. So you want to be able to train your ear to identify modes. One, because when you're in a key that is in that mode, it's important to be able to know that. But two, you also want to be able to identify the notes that are in relation to the chords being played as just as instead of just listening to the intervals of the key because that's not how actual music works. So if I'm playing a C chord and I hear this, my ear is going to tell me the one because that's a C note. But then while a G chord is being played and I hear this, my ear, that's a C note, my ear isn't going to tell me one going to tell me four because it wants to resolve down to the three. So that's why this is important because if you're thinking, oh, it sounds like a four, but wait, it was the C? That's because when the chord changes, the root changes. And hey, before we go any further, if you don't mind, if you could like this video and subscribe, it would mean the world to me. I'm trying to get this video out to as many guitar players and musicians as possible. So if you could like and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. So now let's get into how to actually identify modes with your ear. So one of the best ways to start off with is just by singing the scales, singing the actual modes and getting your ear used to how these sound. Now singing, as I say all the time, is the best way to train your ear. If you can sing the interval, sing the scale degree, that really proves that you know how it sounds. You don't have to be a good singer. You can suck just like I do, all right? But you just need to be able to match pitches. So let's start off in the key of A. Let's say you're just gonna sing A major. What you would do is you'd hit this, sing one, then you would sing two before you play it, then you would sing three, and if you want, try to sing three. Now four, now five, now six, now seven, and then one. There you go. And then you could do that descending, you could do it in different orders, whatever you want, but you're just getting used to that major. Then you would go on to another mode. You could do this in order, you could do the modes randomly, but you're gonna stay on the starting note. By staying on the same starting note, it is much easier to hear the differences in how these scales actually sound. So let's say you did a Phrygian. A 
that's a much darker than, than the actual A major. Right? And then you would sing, let's say, A Lydian. Right? But you're always starting on that same root. Okay? So you just want to be able to take any one of these modes and confidently be able to sing this ascending and descending eventually without the aid of your guitar. Next, what you want to do is to be able to identify the modes by emotions, by how they actually feel. Right? So a way to do this is to play it, and if you can, even record it and listen to it on a loop, and then write down a description of it. Like this major, how does that sound? Does it sound dark, depressing, or does it sound bright, uplifting, right? Maybe hopeful, I don't know. And the reason I can't just tell you how it feels is because this is all a matter of opinion. You wanna write down how it feels to you and how it sounds to you, right? So for instance, if I play the um, Locrian scale, how would you write down how that feels? Right? It is pretty, pretty dark. And then what about the Phrygian? So the best way to do this is to actually have a list of emotions in front of you. And then you can just pick out from the list, well, Ionian sounds like this, Dorian sounds like this, Phrygian sounds like this, and so on. One of the keys to ear training is that when I listen to songs and chord progressions or modes or whatever, one thing that really helps you be able to identify them is I can identify the feeling. So I'm saying, well, that feels mysterious, so it has to be this. That feels really bold and unexpected, it has to be this. I've heard that a ton of times, right? But a, a big piece people miss is that they don't attach the actual emotions to it. And whether or not you notice this or not, every single chord progression, every single mode has a very specific emotion attached, so you want to be able to memorize these. Now, the next and final exercise to do to train your ear on modes is to sing melodies. Now, what this is, is you are going to create a very small melody. You could just make it four notes, all right? And you want to choose scale degrees from the modes that are unique. So, for instance, if I wanted to train my ear on Mixolydian, the only difference between Mixolydian and major is a flat seven. Because a major scale is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Mixolydian is one, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven. So the melody would have to include that flat seven, right? So for instance, if I um, were to do Lydian, the only difference between major and Lydian is the sharp four. So I would need to make sure that my melody has that. So let's say for instance that you did, wanted to train on Lydian, and you chose the melody one, five, sharp, four, six. Well then, now let's test it. Can you sing that? So we go one, one, now try to sing five. Now try to sing sharp four. Now six. And there you go, right? If you can do it, great. And you can make these melodies longer, harder. You can add different rhythms to them. But singing melodies is one of the best ways to train your ear to identify modes. All right, now bonus section. Here's what we're going to do. Let's put your ear to the test. I am going to play a mode just like this. And then you have to guess what mode I'm playing. The screen's gonna go black, you're just gonna hear the modes, and then you have to try to guess what you're hearing. All right, here is your first example. If you guessed Mixolydian, you would be correct. Here is the next one. That time, if you guessed Phrygian, you would have been right. Here is another one. And 
the answer to that one was Lydian. So if you like these exercises and you like having quizzes like that, you should check out my online ear training course called Complete Ear Mastery. This is a full in-depth online ear training course developed specifically for guitar players that gives you every exercise, every aspect of music that you need to be able to train your ear so you can become the player you want. You can check that out at eartrainingforguitar.com or just click the link in the description. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you got a lot out of it. Comment what you thought. Comment how the answers went for you. If you got them all right, if you got a few wrong. But I really hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you at the next one.